guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia and today I'm be doing three looks, one palette with this iconic London eyeshadow palette. This is the Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. Now this is about £45 on its own normally, which is quite pricey. I got mine three with the, oh, what's the glossy box? Yeah. I got mine three with the glossy box advent calendar last year and it is really pretty. I don't think I'd pay the £45 for it up front if it was a sort of sale or promotion or something I probably would buy it at cheap price but I definitely do think these shadows are worth the price even though I wouldn't pay the full price for it you know what I mean they do show a lot of quality the shimmers are really really pretty in there I love the palette just the shimmers alone and I'm not really a shimmery kind of eyeshadow person but these are just absolutely gorgeous and when you see on iconic London's Instagram you see all these models getting their makeup done they absolutely look so stunning you actually get that look with this eyeshadow palette, which is crazy. I think it's just the shimmers. They're just really nice wearable shades. They're really nice warm shades. They just look really nice on the eye. They're really nice in a range of different eyeshadow looks and everything. So yeah, I think just because it's quite a pricey eyeshadow palette, I wanted to give it a go and try out a few different looks from it. So I've done three looks. Enjoy. Okay, so look one is kind of for those Friday night FaceTime drinks. Look two is an everyday glam sort of look. And then look three is a bit more of a 60s darling vibe type thing, which I think is really cute. Okay, and onto the first look. This is a berry glam sort of look. It's quite a simple but yet dramatic look and it didn't really take too much time at all. So first of all, we'll go into the shade in the nude just to make a base. And then I'd use the shade Merlot Mondays. I did have to build this one up quite a bit, but it did achieve a really nice result and color at the end. And then I go into deep, so I just take a slightly thinner brush and take this into the outer corner and then slightly up into my crease just to create a bit more of like a 3D dramatic sort of effect. And then I use Girl Boss, which is this really pretty, shimmery, pinky purpley shade just in the bottom corner there. And I just think it's really nice and reflective. It's really pretty. It looks really nice with the other colours I've got on there. And I just think all these shimmers are really pretty. They're really nice and reflective. You can use them as uh, like face highlighters and everything as well. I'm just using Icon for the inner corner highlight, but you can use it on your face and it looks so pretty. That and Wonderland is so pretty on the face. I do go and use a Kiko highlighter here for today though because I just wanted to test this one out. But otherwise, this is the finished look. It's a really nice soft dramatic glam look with plenty of colour, looks good with a nude lip and also with a darker lip and perfect for your weekly Zoom cocktails. Okay, and onto the second look. This is a very bronzy, summery look. This would look great in the summer. It's just a natural kind of eye with a winged eyeliner and a bit of shimmer. Okay, so I started with the Barry M Fresh Face Cheek and Lip Tint in Camera Kisses and then I'm going into Ultimate Tan just to put all over my eye, just to start with a really nice neutral base. And then taking an eyeshadow brush to go into Ranks to Riches. This is a shimmer, but it looks really nice with a brush, more dispersed and soft looking. And then I'm taking Deep Soul onto a slightly thinner brush just to use as an eyeliner. And basically I just line along my lash line and take it out into a wing. And I take it slightly into my inner corner a bit too, just to create a bit more shape. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes as I always do. And then I'm going in with the Revolution 5D Lash Mascara. This is their new one that's out. I actually quite like it. I did do a video on it recently. If you wanted to go and watch that, see what I think about it. Okay, and that is the finished look. It is a nice natural bronzy look with a bit of winged eyeliner. The only thing I wish I did differently with this eye look was that I did my eyebrows darker because they really look like they need to be darker for this look. But it is really pretty. And finally, we have this final look, which is a very 60s inspired look. It's very soft and pretty looking. I start off by using Marshmallow and just taking it all over the lid. And then with a slightly thinner but like chubby brush, I'm taking Peaches and Dreams and putting it just above my crease. It's just going to heighten the crease, make my eyes look bigger. And I am taking my favourite brush from the By Terry palette and just using both ends of this today, but I'm going in with the thicker end first and using Deep Soul and taking it once again just above my crease. I like the shape of this eyeshadow brush for this and I am just taking the leftover powder I have on the brush and taking it out into a wing shape just very gently there. Next I'm going with my finger into Champagne Chic and just putting this onto my lid. I then use a fluffy brush to kind of blend out the edges and then I just go back and forth between that and my crease colour just to make sure everything's really blended and looks nice and everything. Next I'm taking the thinner end of the By Tannery brush and going into Deep Soul and just doing a winged liner with this. I'm just making sure the end of the wing meets up with the crease wing that I've made. I'm going with taupe to taupe, I'm just taking this under my eye but leaving a bit of a gap and then I go with some white eyeliner to really add to the 60s eye look. 
I really like how this one turned out. It's probably my favorite one of the ones I've done today. It's just a really nice, soft, glam, 60s look. It can be worn every day and every other another day. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if there's any other eyeshadow palettes that you want to see similar to this or ones that you think I should try out for like variation of color and stuff. Because sometimes with an eyeshadow palette, you want it to be all looking the same, but also looking different at the same time. But yeah, it's just quite fun to play around with. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.